All right, so we've been working on the Ares wind vane. Very important piece of equipment. It had a couple problems. First problem was that it was very hard to get it locked into position. This is one of the earliest Ares and it has this hinge that allows you to, to lift the, the uh, rudder out of the water. But to get it into place, you somehow need to pull it, get it into position here and then push it up like that. And then you can use this little handle here to tighten it down. But it's got to, it's got a little key there that has to be in position for you to, for it to lock into place. That, those, that metal piece there locks in. And that is not easy to do since uh, it's basically at the water line and when we're working on it, we're usually way up there, not down on the ground here. So we've struggled with a couple different ways uh, to do this, boat hook and blah, 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 but it just doesn't really work. So what we really need to do is to be able to pull it back and up at the same time in the right direction. And after thinking about it a lot, what I've decided to do is to run this little uh, rope here through a block, a, a fair lead basically, so that it pulls at the right angle and uh, up onto deck where Helena is going to now demonstrate how this works. All right, so somebody would be really, just since the rudder floats, I would probably be holding the uh, rudder underwater. I need to patch that little hole in there. Uh, with the boat hook, while Helena gives it a pull, locks it into place, or just holds it there, really. And then with the boat hook, I would give this a little quarter turn, and that, that's all it takes to hold it in place. There's like a compression clutch here. And it doesn't take a lot of pressure to, to keep it in place once it's locked in. The key is to just pull it up at the right angle and that rope with that block, that's the, the key thing. We, we always had a rope on there, but it didn't it was very difficult to pull at the right angle, so that block just makes the angle uh, the correct one. So the other problem we had was with the steering lines, which is this black and yellow line here. There's one on each side. Um, they, this, the, the one on the port side was fraying, chafing really, because at some point in its long life, let's see if I can get a good angle here, somebody banged into a dock that. We've done it ourselves, but it was done before uh, we came along and bent that quite considerably, actually, uh, forward. So, whereas on the starboard side, can you just push the, to the, to the other way, to starboard. On the starboard side, it still lines up, and that there's like a little stopper. Where is it? Right here, that would kind of fit into this little spot here. And that would stop the, uh, the rudder from going too far forward, too, too far to one side or the other. On the other side, if you pull it back, you can see that these no longer line up. So there was no stopper. And what was happening was the, the, uh, the, the rudder would actually go past the uh, where it was supposed to, and it would chafe that rope. So what I've done, well, we first we tried to bend that into the back into place with block and tackles and all kinds of stuff, and we just could not do it. And then we tried to take it out and um, replace it, but it also wouldn't come out. It's been in there probably for 40 years, and uh, you can see other people have tried to get that out. Previous owners, there's hammer marks on the ca casting and places where it's been scratched by channel locks. Um, 
So we couldn't get it out either. So after scratching our heads, came up with the idea of just rigging preventers. So now when it goes off to one side, we have this preventer, essentially a piece of Dyneema, won't let it go more than it should. So it should stop the chafe. And I've made it adjustable. I put like a cleat on there uh, so that I can adjust this. But I'm, not, I'm not exactly sure how, how the length should be and maybe it'll stretch. So I've made it so we can adjust it. And since uh, I like to be symmetrical, it doesn't, we didn't need one on the other side, but I decided to rig a potential on the other side just to eliminate any possibility of any chase. That stops it just a hair short of where the stopper would normally stop it. So that should prevent any kind of chafing on that side too, not that we've really had any problems. So it's a bit of a kludge, but uh, it should solve the problem, which is that control line chafing through after about two weeks of use. So we are hoping that has got our Aries in fully working order and we shall see. <laughs> Thank you, Helena. <laughs> just to kind of demonstrate the out of position, or up, the up position there. So you kind of you pull that up with basically with a boat hook and then lock it down. And yeah. It's up out of the water. And of course we'll snug that line up so it won't just be hanging. This one here? Yeah, the red one. Because this one is going to fall off too, Not right? Too, uh, <laughs> oh, sorry. Sorry. Yeah, that's a good point though. You're probably right. It probably will fall off. And it's going to tangle up on the mm. Alright, so I have to... Maybe I don't need to go around there twice. Thank you, Helena. Anyway, this is a prototype, so we shall see. That's why I wanted to make it adjustable, because I was pretty sure we were going to have to adjust this. Little. And you have this cut-up thing here. It's going to shape on this rope. Because I see everything. I know. You know. Alright, so... As you can see, we still got a little bit of work left to do, but we're making progress. All right, so Helena was right, of course. Uh, so to prevent this rope from slipping off here and tangling with anything, I do want this to go around this very, very, very sturdy uh, leg here. And not pull directly on the cleat. I want it to pull on the, the leg, not the cleat. Uh, so I did want it to go around here a couple of times. Uh, so what I did was I made basically a clove hitch on here. So now it's it can't it's 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 fastened basically to the, the pole here, and this is just to prevent it from slipping back. Uh, so I think that's that meets that final requirement there of not not slipping off. So we live and we learn. <laughs>